Good afternoon, everyone. Highest increases ever predicted for annual food price rises in 2021. We know what happened. Tunisia, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Syria, Libya. During food price rises, China slaps a 70% tariff on barley crops out of Australia. 169% tariff on wine out of Australia. $15 billion for airlines. For meal breaks, $600 for you and I. Lab-grown chicken debuting in Singapore restaurants. Oh, the demand for sustainable meat is all-time high and rising. Are you getting a glimpse of 2021? As Americans seek economic protection, after the most controversial election in U.S. history, year-to-date in 2020 alone, gold is up 30% and silver rising more than 50%. And now we're entering a new year facing economic realities of a global economic crisis caused by COVID and political reactions. Patriot Gold Group has the no fee for life IRA where your IRA or 401k can be in physical gold or physical silver. And the knowledge that Patriot Gold Group is Consumer Affairs top rated gold IRA dealer five years in a row from 2016 to present. To find more information, the link's in the description box below. And now on with the video. Starting off here, Canadian families as well. This is going to dribble into the U.S. Highest increase ever predicted for annual food prices. Not reassuring. That's why growing some of your own food or learning how to sprout out microgreens for fresh nutrient and vitamin laden greens right in your home will be such an essential skill. And dovetailing in the Bloomberg Commodity Index, circle on the right is showing you this sudden increase in spike in prices. We saw those same kind of mad jumps in 2008 and nine before the crash. Wonder what'll happen when this time central banks realize they cannot print food. Because when we look at the Commodities Index and what had happened all across the Middle East, civil unrest that that caused you just have to wonder now which other countries it's going to influence. And I just am going to flip the globe right here to the happy, hugging neighbors of the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. Friends and bosom chums across Asia, maybe not. China and Australia relations, 80% tariff on Australian barley. That's only going to hurt China. They need food so badly right now. This whole thing about mianzi or the face or the reputation of... Chinese business and government over there. Originally it was 70%, then it's been raised to 80. I don't know even know where it sits today. It's always changing. And you have China scouring the globe for as much food as they can get. And they're doing these types of things to cut off a major source of imports of raw grains into the country. Go figure. So now this had Australia responding, launching appeals to the World Trade Organization over these barley tariffs. And that was just a few days back. So we'll see where this moves to in the next year or so. What would be funny is if Australia says, all right, we're going to cut off all your food, bye. And China would come back, no, 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 please let us have the food. Powdered milk, perhaps. And another thing that China had done for Australian imports was marked up the wine 169%. I guess they revert back to whiskey. That's a huge one in China. But these tariffs keep increasing and increasing. It was 107%, then 168%, and now the newest one is 212%. But as you can see, 39% of all the total exports of Australian wine was headed toward China. So what kind of dent is this going to put into the smaller vineyards? And you start to see this is becoming a very contentious issue. Food and food prices moving into 2021. Add insult to injury. $15 billion in the newest stimulus bailout package here. Corporate meal taxes and other pork. Great. $15 billion for airlines that were charging you for almost breathing in the aircraft. Now they get a $15 billion package. What do you get? $600. Bucks. Not even the $1,200 like last time. And they're just going to print more money to do this. So they're going to devalue the regular buying power of you and I. But hold on, the valuation in the S&P is going to stay through the Santa Claus rally. It's all good. And another direction and marketing campaign for 2021, straight off the printing press, lab-grown meat to make historic debut in Singapore restaurants. 
Lab Grown Chicken, inaugural sales, inaugural debut in more than a handful. I'm going to say a plethora of restaurants across Singapore. They're really moving the citizens to get used to this lab grown meat. You know, Singapore, they got to import everything anyway. So if they were able to start a new industry in some of the high tech parks and whatnot, growing this sort of like a two birds, one stone thing. And watch for it. The advertisers, marketers are going to push this message right here. Demand for sustainable meat alternatives is rising, and it's at all-time high. It's continuing to rise. It's the new Bitcoin. Growing pressure from consumers who are worried about, well, I don't think any of those things are really making the list. I think it's more about prices itself and getting food with food lines increasing by the day across the planet. I don't think animal welfare is really on anybody's radar screen anymore. But this is how 2020 is swinging with the pendulum of craziness. And how much food do you have in your homes for emergencies? Storable food for each family member, the two-week or the four-week emergency food supply. My Patriot Supply and Adapt 2030. As we get into the food supply shocks and the food price increases, purchasing now this year is going to be cheaper than next year. Personal opinion. At least that's what my crystal ball says. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video and I'll see you next time.